Hey Pisces, welcome to your April 2020 astrology horoscope. You're like a kid in the candy store. So many delicious and wonderful options. And you're ready for the kind of success worthy of your time and attention. Bask yourself in this reality as you ready yourself for the next steps. You have just released a plethora of fears and restrictions. You need to feel the space it's created without rushing yourself. It's not time to take significant outward action. Give yourself the gift and potential in this shedding of what no longer serves you. Freedom must first be experienced before it can be applied. And next month, when Mars moves into Pisces, that will be an excellent time for you to really push yourself. This month, it's more about being in the space that you've created and enjoying it. Now, that doesn't mean there isn't great things happening this month for you, because there are. Now, Venus is the ruler of both moons this month. She is the ruler of the Libra moon, the Libra full moon on the 7th, and the Taurus new moon on the 22nd. She moves into Gemini on April 3rd, and she'll be in Gemini until August 7th, because she will retrograde May 12th through June 24th. And this is very significant. And she is in the area of home, foundation. And Mars is in Aquarius in the area of working behind the scenes. That is why part of the message here for you is not about being in a hurry to push yourself in the world. Now there is a very big aspect happening this month, very significant astrological event, and that is Jupiter coupling with Pluto. That will go exact on April 4th, June 30th, and November 12th. This is an energy, it's all about self-betterment, power, what gives your life meaning. It does give you tremendous energy and this urge to achieve and gain success. And as you personally define what success is for you, it will give you a tremendous effort in your life to bear fruit from your labor, from your work. But th this is going on you know, for the rest of the year, so there's no hurry for you to rush out the door and make things happen, especially with Mars in the background and Venus in the area of foundation. It's wiser for you to enjoy this new freedom before you rush into worldly achievement. Now the Libra full moon is on April 7th and it has the Pluto and Jupiter coupled together forming a powerful T-square to both lights, the sun and the moon. And the sun will go exactly square challenged by Pluto on April 14th and then Jupiter on April 15th. So this is going to be kind of a rocky moon. Now for you it's in the area of shared resources, other people's money. Aries rules your personal income, your talent, your gifts, your abilities, your inner and outer resources, your personal income. So watch out for any kind of power struggles, say, going on with your partner or other people. The way out is through Venus because it's so interesting. Even though Pluto and Jupiter are challenging the Libra full moon and then the sun on the 14th, Venus, the ruler of Libra, and Mars, the ruler of Aries, they're trining, and they're trining all month. The divine lovers are in love all month. And so Venus and Mars are trining. Venus and Saturn are trining at this full moon too. So this is good for professional relationships. It's good for love. It's good for personal relationship. And it, Venus is about harmony. So the way out from power struggles is to stay in your harmony, just to, to not play the game, to not get caught up in the uh, ego, uh, the false ego with uh, Pluto like this, because Pluto brings out the shadow side 
in all of us. We all have a shadow, but we don't need to take it out. <laughs> it's not Halloween. So uh, it is important to stay out of the games. Now, if it does bring to your attention some issues with your resources, your money, and you and your partner are on a different, you're in a different place or you see things differently, it's an opportunity to communicate your needs as well as listening to your partner what he or she needs from you. So it will be bringing this up. Now March has really turned out to be you know, a very significant money month given the, uh, the virus going, going around and what it's doing to the markets and other things in the world. You know, so March has been, you know, has a big focus on our money. Uh, that wasn't anticipated. Um, April, I do see this being a big focus with our money because of this Jupiter-Pluto aspect, as well as Venus being so highlighted this month. And Venus rules personal income. She rules money. So this is a time where we are looking at our money. Now for you, you are absolutely looking at your debt, your taxes, your finances, and you know how can you restructure things or improve things this month. You will be focused on that, and rightfully so. So yes, take the opportunity to look at your debt, your taxes, and how you can potentially make better choices in these areas so that you are feeling abundant and prosperous. Mercury will enter Aries on the 11th and this is good news because this is moving things forward. He's on the move this month. He jumps into Taurus on the 27th and that means business is picking up, commerce is picking up, and the markets will improve. Yay! <laughs> and then we have the Sun entering Taurus on the 19th and this is good news. It's very nice uh, to have the energy move into Taurus because the planets harmonize with Pluto and Jupiter in the sign of Taurus and that's good news. And Taurus is in a very fun part of your chart. It's in the area of speaking, writing, teaching, day-to-day -day activity and social media and short distance travel and this is where you can be feeling like a kid in the candy store because you're getting all of these new ideas and potentially options for you and they're here to make you successful because Taurus sextiles opportunity Pisces when you water the earth things grow and that's good news yes sometimes we can make mud when we water the earth too much <laughs> balance is the key. We don't want to water too much. And then we have the beautiful Taurus new moon on the 22nd. And what's really cool is it's also Earth Day. So this is a wonderful day to get outdoors, to get into nature, and honor Gaia, Mother Earth. Celebrate Gaia and Mother Earth and nature. And of course, it's spring in the Northern Hemisphere. So it's just a beautiful time of year where everything is blooming and all of the little animals that have been away for the winter and the bunnies are out, <laughs> the chipmunks, the birds. And it's like, yay, it's spring. And of course, fall is beautiful too in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, this Taurus new moon is very interesting because the moon is separating from Saturn. Yet it's coupled with Uranus, and Uranus has the final say because Uranus is at 6 degrees 24 minutes, and the new moon is at 3 degrees 24 minutes, and Saturn is at one, almost 2 degrees Aquarius. So they're separating from Saturn, and what Saturn is, is wanting for you is to not be in a hurry. Don't just rush out and fill the space that you've created. You work so hard to create with new activities, new work, new, new this or that. It's better to take your time and focus and be patient because as you go into April and then of course as you get into May, 
you're going to have Mars in your own sign. And that's going to empower you to be ready for action. Be ready for whatever your heart is desiring. It's awesome having Mars in our own sign. It gives us energy, it gives us courage, it gives us drive. And you've already cleared out so much. In April, it's more about allowing yourself to just be in this new space that you've created so that you're not just filling the space. It's like, it's okay to take your time. And if there are delays or resistance to whatever you're trying to do, patience will pay off. The important thing is to allow your patience to pay off for you because it will. And it's really cool where Uranus is in your chart. Uranus being in Taurus is really stimulating your thinking and coming up with new ideas and new options for you. And you are, you're like a kid in the candy store <laughs> with these delicious and wonderful options that are manifesting for you. And play with them. See where they go. Don't be in a hurry to have to make them work for you. Allow for them to take on a life of their own. And, you know, if it's a great idea today, it'll be a great idea next week as well. If it's a great idea for you at this place in your life, it will be a great idea in May and June and so on. You could have some really amazing, innovative ideas about your work, your business, your life. And what I really like about this energy is, is it's, it's really brainy, like it's, it's so stimulating. And, and it's in a brainy area of your life. <laughs> and what's cool is the sun will exactly couple with Uranus on the 26th. And then Mercury will couple with Uranus on the 30th. And so it just continues. So it's going on, you know, the last eight days of April into May for you, where you're like this kid in the candy store, and you're like, oh, I could be doing that. Oh, well, what about pulling that in? Oh, this is a great idea. Oh, yeah, I never thought about that before. But why not innovate this? Why not approach my work with this new technology or this new method? And it is like perfect timing. It's, it's that synchronicity of being in the right place at the right time. And Pisces has such a gift for prosperity because you're ruled by Jupiter and Neptune, which both are about vision. You see things that other people don't see. I mean, this is what I've experienced with my own, in my own personal life with Pisces friends, where, you know, I'll look at something and I'll see a, a pile of junk, and my friend will look at it and go, no, <laughs> there's a gold mine there. And then it will turn out to be something he makes a lot of money from. So you have this gift of seeing treasures where the rest of us don't see it. And this is something that God has given to you. So be open to the zany. Be open to the crazy. And especially if others of us are going, I don't see it. <laughs> That's your clue that you're onto something because it's your gift. God gave it to Pisces, not to everybody else. And it has to do with Jupiter and, and Neptune being your rulers. So it's really exciting. And fun and interesting and so stay open to it and the crazier the better sometimes it's like you know the zany is exactly what we need I mean I know when I started my astrology practice everybody thought I was crazy in 1995 you know how are you gonna make a living doing that how are you gonna make any money doing that <laughs> boy were they wrong and you know I am just so appreciative of the choices I've made in this life that I followed my own instincts and my own intuition and didn't listen to other people because I've made right choices along the way and I'm doing really well. So trust yourself, trust your instincts. And if you feel the calling to do something and it's 
strange to other people, that's a passion clue. Or you feel embarrassed to admit to it. Like, I was definitely embarrassed to admit, like, I'm this astrologer, people. This is what I do. And I was really embarrassed to admit to that. That's when you know you're onto it. That's when you know, ah, you know, you've got something. And it's really important this month. Like, one of the messages I'm seeing, and especially with Venus ruling both moons and in harmony with the divine lover, Mars, all month, who's working behind the scenes with you. So the info, info for you is coming from higher higher power, that if your heart's not in it, you're in the wrong place. Your heart needs to be in it. Is your heart in what you're doing? If your heart's in it, oh, you're on the right path. Even if it's a crazy idea, even if it's zany, if your heart is in it, you're on to something. So trust that. Be there for yourself. And really listen to yourself, because you've worked really hard, Pisces, to get where you are now. And you're in a new place. You're in a strong new place. And the universe wants for you to, you know, take time for yourself so that you can enjoy this new freedom and then apply that freedom to your life. For those of you available for love, well, the divine lovers are, are making love all month. <laughs> for you, it's kind of going on behind the scenes, though. So... You might have someone that you're seeing, but maybe you don't want others to know about yet. That's fine. You know, if you, you have someone that you don't want everyone else to have an opinion about, protect it. Protect your alchemy. Protect what you love. Protect you. For those of you coupled, the only challenge I'm seeing really is this uh, Sun-Pluto square and the Libra full moon. It, there could be some challenge with shared resources be aware of that and remember the love because it is the way out remember the love you share it is your way out money looks good and I do see some money making ideas in here coming in by the end of the month for you that are going to pay off health how is your health the universe wants you to slow down and take time for yourself and not rush into things. This is a very spiritual month for you. It's time for you to be working with your mighty I am presence and higher self. Allow for the cosmic downloads coming in. I see much of the information you're getting this month is coming from your mighty I am presence. It's coming from your higher self directly being downloaded into your heart. And that's beautiful. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my videos, Pisces. You're so beautiful. And thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I so appreciate you. Yay. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It does support the channel, and it lets you know when I upload. So until next time, Pisces, take your time. Be open to the divine inspiration coming your way. It will guide you. And the crazier the idea, listen to it. There's money in it for you and opportunity.